Chapter 1 Awaken you are listening at NovelFull.audio Yu Jiaojiao had never felt so miserable in her entire life. Every cell in her body was screaming in pain. She struggled to open her eyes, and what greeted her was the roof of a thatched house. The blanket on her body felt itchy, and there was a musty smell that came from not seeing the sun for a long time. This wasn't the 230.square.meter high end flat she had lived on. Was she abducted? Did her soul transmigrate? Zhao Zhan pushed the door open and entered the room. With the help of the light, he could see Yu Jiao Jiao's eyes flutter. He suddenly stopped in his tracks and did not dare to move forward. You. You're awake. Half a month ago, he was busy chasing his prey deep into the mountains. Then, the prey suddenly disappeared, and on his way, he saw a dying girl lying at the bottom of the cliff. From the looks of it, if the girl hadn't been hanging on the tilted tree to cushion her fall, she would have broken her legs. Even so, other than falling to the bottom of the cliff and hitting the back of her head, the girl's body was also covered in bruises of various sizes. He had been applying medicine for her for the past half a month. Which part of the girl's body had he not seen? However, when he suddenly met her eyes, Zhao Zhan instantly blushed from head to toe. With such a big man standing at the door, blocking the light, Yu Jiao Jiao's eyes darted around. The other party was dressed in roughed dot up clothes, and his hair was casually tied up with a towel. His facial features were well dot defined, and from his neck to his face, he was weak colored. Even if his muscles were hidden by his clothes, one could still vaguely make out his body features. He looked like someone who had been through a lot. Yu Jiao Jiao had a rough idea of what was going on. She was trying to piece the puzzle together, but she had temporarily lost her memory, probably because her head was concussed on the way down. Looking at the other party's eyes and nervous behavior, she concluded that he was her savior. This place is. The fair and tender beauty suddenly frowned, and even her voice was soft. Zhao Zhan felt like he didn't know where to put his hands and feet, but he subconsciously replied in a muffled voice, This is my house. I picked you up from the foot of the mountain. You've been asleep for half a month. If you want to go home. I'll send you home after you've recovered. Zhao Zhan's heart was heavy, and he couldn't help but lower his eyes. She was such a delicate little woman, he was afraid that he would hurt her if he used a little more force. No matter what, it was impossible for a poor hunter like him to keep someone like her. Can you help me sit up first? Zhao Zhan's dejected mood was instantly swept away by these words. All he could think of was to satisfy the other party's request. He put the bowl of soup on the stool and walked to the bed to reach out his hands. Yu Jiao Jiao followed his movements and placed her hands on his, but before she could exert any force, her hands slipped from his and she subconsciously looked at him in confusion. Zhao Zhan had unknowingly flinched back from the contact. When she was unconscious, he didn't have such a reaction when he applied medicine on her body. Now, with just a touch, he felt as if his whole body had been zapped by electricity. Dot, what's wrong? Yu Jiao Jiao's body was weak, so when she spoke, her tone was raised, and her voice was soft and gentle. Zhao Zhan felt as if his heart had been gently tickled by a feather. His throat was so dry that he didn't dare to look at her again. He didn't say a word either. After a while, only when he gathered enough courage did he help Yu Jiao Jiao get up from bed. He even thoughtfully took a pillow to put it behind her. Oh, thank you. The pillow was very hard, and the injury on her back made Yu Jiao Jiao cry out in pain. In her previous life, she had been pampered and raised with a platinum spoon. Her food, clothing, shelter, and transportation were all top dot notch. Later on, even when she lived alone, she could live comfortably every day with the copyright fees. She had never used such a hard pillow before. Chapter 2 Feeding you are listening at NovelFull.audio. She stayed up late to write a song, and she got so tired that she took a nap. She didn't expect to transmigrate when she woke up. Even if she was born into a rich family, 
she hated the fact that there were no mobile phones, air conditioners, and hair dryers in ancient times. Even the place she was in now had the word poor on everything. For no reason at all, she had become an ancient lady who fell and turned disabled. Yu Jiao Jiao felt a little aggrieved, but no matter what, she could not vent her grievances on her savior. You hurt yourself. I went into town to buy some spare ribs and made this stew. Do you want to eat some? Zhao Zhan stood at the side carefully, holding the bowl of soup in his hand. Yu Jiao Jiao was really hungry. She wanted to take the bowl, but the scratches on her arms made her retract her fingers in pain. If you don't mind, I'll feed you, Zhao Zhan tried scooping a spoonful of soup and carefully looked at Yu Jiao Jiao's face. The scratches on your arms and back are a little severe. You might not be able to carry the bowl right now. Yu Jiao Jiao's eyes reddened as her wound felt like she was being bitten by a million ants. She raised her head and looked at Zhao Zhan. Her words were plain, but because of the grievance in her voice, they sounded like she was acting coquettishly. Have you been helping me apply medicine all this time? Yes, your clothes were torn when I found you. I was afraid that it would be bad for your reputation if others saw you like this, so I secretly brought you back. As Zhao Zhan spoke, he was afraid that the other party would misunderstand him and hurriedly added, Don't worry. Even when you go home, I won't mention this to anyone. Ever. He was born burly. At that moment, he was standing in front of the bed with his head lowered and had an anxious look on his face. Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't help but think of him as a puppy. I don't blame you. You saved me. I should be thanking you instead. A rumbling sound was heard. Yu Jiao Jiao was defeated by her own stomach in the middle of her words. I'm sorry. I'm feeling a little peckish, oh, oh, I'll feed you, Zhao Zhan said as he bent over and brought the spoon to Yu Jiao Jiao's lips. Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't help but shake her head and chuckle. What a fool. She carefully moved her finger and pointed at the stool beside her. You can sit you know. Zhao Zhan obediently sat on the bench as she gave her orders. His long legs had no place to rest, so he put them together, feeling wronged. He was like a brown bear sitting on the ground hugging his legs, but his heart felt like thousands of flowers were blooming in his chest. Her smile was beautiful. It was like moonlight that shined in the dark creating a path for others. Yu Jiao Jiao took a sip of Zhao Zhan's pork rib soup. She had eaten all the top cuisines of the 21st century and was mentally prepared for the soup to not taste good. However, she did not expect that the moment she took a spoonful of it, her already hungry stomach would instantly cry out in joy. The ribs were stewed until they were soft. The soup didn't seem greasy, and it tasted rich and fragrant. Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't help but drink two bowls. She even soaked a biscuit in the soup to eat as well. That she ate to her heart's content. Zhao Zhan, on the other hand, looked at her moving lips as if he was possessed. The tip of her tongue seemed to have magic that attracted his gaze. When Yu Jiao Jiao was full, he ran out of the room to wash the dishes. After eating and drinking to her heart's content, Yu Jiao Jiao felt tired and fell asleep again. Although she had woken up, she had become much weaker after being in a coma for half a month. She slept really well until the sun slowly set in the west and the golden light shone into the room through the crack in the door. Suddenly, she was woken up by the urge to pee. How was she going to go to the toilet with all these injuries? Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't help but think of a strategy. Especially in the past half a month, how did Zhao Zhan manage to keep her at the very least, refreshed? Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't help but blush when she thought of it. Chapter 3 Serve You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Yu Jiao Jiao endured the pain and slowly moved to the side of the bed, trying to get out of the bed on one foot. Ah! Uh. Because of the force, the wound that had formed a scab was pulled again. Yu Jiao Jiao bit her lower lip, but she still couldn't hold back the cry of pain. Zhao Zhan immediately entered the room as if he had a pair of clairaudient ears. When he saw Yu Jiao Jiao attempt to get out of bed, 
and swaying unsteadily, his heart almost jumped out of his mouth. He quickly rushed over and held her slender waist. It was soft to the touch, and when he held it, he noticed how delicate she felt. Zhao Zhan felt as if he was holding a cloud, afraid that he could accidentally break the girl's waist. At this point, Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't care less about her shyness. She used Zhao Zhan's strength to steady herself and asked where the toilet was. Zhao Zhan did not say anything. He usually lived alone, and there was no such thing as a toilet in his house. The back of the thatched cottage was against the mountains. As a hunter, he usually stayed in the mountains. If it wasn't for the fact that Yu Jiao Jiao needed to be taken care of, he wouldn't be at home every day. After waiting for a long time without any response, Yu Jiao Jiao tugged at the hem of Zhao Zhan's clothes and looked at him with her watery eyes. Did you hear me? Zhao Zhan said carefully, take a seat first. I'll carry you over after I've cleaned it up. Yu Jiao Jiao saw the uneasiness on his face and obediently allowed him to help her sit on the edge of the bed. This behavior was because the outhouse was unsightly. Yu Jiao Jiao didn't want to enter a dirty place either, especially since she was still crippled. If anything were to happen to her, she would definitely be embarrassed for the rest of her life. After waiting for about five minutes, Yu Jiao Jiao finally saw Zhao Zhan enter the room. Seeing that he had washed his hands, Yu Jiao Jiao was satisfied and allowed him to be her safety crutch. She carried Zhao Zhan to the next room. The room was half the size of the thatched house he had just slept in. It was empty, with only a bucket in the middle and a chair that had been struck empty in the middle. Zhao Zhan placed Yu Jiao Jiao on the chair and walked to the door. With his back facing her, he said in a flustered tone, Call me when you're done. I'll clean it up. Yu Jiao Jiao was a little surprised by the other party's consideration and care. From the moment she had woken up until now, the things that had happened had already disregarded any shyness. If she continued to be embarrassed and shy, she might as well not live anymore. However, she had yet to think of a way to repay him. Even if she wanted to thank him later, she couldn't think of a way in a short time. When Zhao Zhan came in again and was about to carry her back to the room, Yu Jiao Jiao, who was in her arms, called out to him, I don't want to go back and lie down. I want to sit in the courtyard for a while, can we? Zhao Zhan had cleaned up the courtyard as well. In addition to the two thatched cottages as the main house and the fence, there was a shed on the east side of the yard for the kitchen. Bows and arrows were hung on both sides of the pillars. The shed had tools, sharp arrowheads, and axes that were placed in the corners of the yard. Yu Jiao Jiao looked at the other party curiously. Are you a hunter? Yes, I don't have any land in the village, so I hunt for a living. My hunting skills are quite good. From the age of 15 until now, I've been hunting for a total of six years. Not only have I supported myself, but I have also earned some silver. Yu Jiao Jiao felt that he was introducing him like he was on a blind date, and she couldn't help but smile. You saved so much money to get a wife, right, she teased. Were they all spent on me now? No. Zhao Zhan did not dare to look at her face at all. He was so nervous that he did not know where to put his hands. I didn't spend much money. Don't take it to heart. In reality, he had almost spent all the silver he had saved up. Yu Jiao Jiao was in the courtyard now, and Zhao Zhan did not leave either. He quietly found a corner to do some woodwork. His hands and feet were agile, and the outline of his muscles could be seen along with his strong arms. The afterglow of the setting sun shone on his body, glistening his skin. Because he worked hard, the sweat on his forehead rolled to the ground, and his whole body had a strong sense of masculinity. Yu Jiao Jiao admired it with great pleasure. Dot modern boys who were slimmer than her were not her type. It was rare to see a real man full of masculinity so Yu Jiao Jiao took it as she was enjoying the scenery. Under her increasingly burning gaze, Zhao Zhan seemed to have gained infinite strength out of thin air and worked even harder. Are you helping me make a walking stick? Yu Jiao Jiao propped up her chin, her voice was lazy. 
Zhao Shan did not forget to reply as he worked. With a walking stick, you won't have to stay cooped up in the house all day. No way, aren't you always there wherever I want to go? Yu Jiao Jiao's expression was mischievous as she stared at the other party's nervous expression with her eyes curved into crescents. First, you offered to help. Then, you're making me a walking stick. Do you find me troublesome? Zhao Zhan placed the almost completed walking stick in his hand to the side. I'll stop working on it right now. In the future, wherever you want to go, I'll carry you. It's fine. It's getting dark and you're wasting your time doing work. If you want to do it, you can do it tomorrow, Yu Jiao Jiao yawned, and two tears fell from the corners of her eyes. She rubbed her stomach in disbelief and said, I think I'm a little hungry again. Zhao Zhan was a little stunned by her vivid expression. Under the moonlight, the little girl was thin and fair. Her every frown and smile was like a gift for him that had descended from heaven. What do you want to eat? I'll cook for you. Zhao Zhan took out an oil lamp from under the shed and lit it up. He usually worked around his kitchen in the dark to cook. Anyway, his night vision was excellent, and he was familiar with where he put his things. He was not afraid of making a mistake. However, because he was worried that the little girl was afraid of the dark, he quickly found the oil lamp. I'm fine with anything. You can do whatever you want, but can you help move me under the shed to watch you cook? She was a little curious as to how this person could make meals so delicious. Zhao Zhan skillfully carried her to the bottom of the shed. Afraid that she would be bored, he even moved a small table in front of her, took out a packet of pastries wrapped in oil paper from the basket, and placed it on top. I bought you a date paste cake when I went to town to sell my prey yesterday. Try it to fill your stomach before dinner. His every move was like he was taking care of a treasure. Yu Jiao Jiao's fingertips retracted just as they were about to touch the cake. She wrinkled her nose and raised her voice. Can you help me open it? I'm afraid my hands will get oily. Zhao Zhan was more than happy to do so. The little girl was a person who placed cleanliness of the utmost importance. He first went to wash his hands, then took out the pastries and placed them on a clean plate. After doing all this, he found an unused cloth and wet it with hot water, wrung it dry, and placed it onto Yu Jiao Jiao's hand. Later when you're making pastries, use this to wipe your hands. When it gets cold, I will change it for another warm one. His service attitude was comparable to any five-dot-star restaurant. Yu Jiao Jiao was comfortably served. She sat on a small chair like a cat and watched Zhao Zhan cook while she ate desserts. She didn't even need to let him know when the towel was cold, he immediately changed it to a hot one. Zhao Zhan had been paying attention to her. When he saw her squinting her eyes in joy, the corners of his lips also curled up quietly. His heart felt as sweet as honey, and he was happier than any prey he had ever caught. Chapter 4 Paradise You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. For dinner, Zhao Zhan cooked a pot of chicken kanji in a crock pot, pancakes, green vegetables, and a dish of scrambled eggs. Should I carry you back to your room? Zhao Zhan scooped the rice and washed his hands before squatting down in front of Yu Jiao Jiao. Do you want to eat in the room? I don't really feel like going, Yu Jiao Jiao shook her head, a few strands of her hair sticking to her cheeks as the wind blew. Her voice was gentle, it's very stuffy in the room, and the blanket hasn't been sunned yet. The whole room reeks of mold, I want to get some fresh air outside. It's my fault. For the first half of the month, Jiao Jiao had been lying on the bed and showed no signs of waking up. Her medical expenses were too expensive if he brought her to the hospital. Other than taking care of her, Zhao Zhan spent the rest of his time on the mountain. While she was recuperating, the doors and windows had been closed. It was obvious that staying there for a long time would not be comfortable. Moreover, he had not been back for a long time to open the windows, so the room had a musky smell. Zhao Zhan regretted that he had not been careful enough. Put this on. 
Zhao Zhan returned to his room and found a piece of tanned leather to gently drape over Yu Jiao Jiao's back. He then placed the dishes on the table one by one. Although it's just autumn, the wind at night is still a little chilly. You're weak, you need to wear warm clothes. As he spoke, he brought the spoon to Yu Jiao Jiao's lips with practiced ease. Have some porridge to warm yourself up first. Although Yu Jiao Jiao was a little delicate, as her name suggested, she was only picky about the taste and not the ingredients when she ate. The pork rib soup he had made during the day had been more than enough for her. Now, she did not hesitate when the porridge that Zhao Zhan was handed over. Most of the porridge would have the fishy smell of meat if it were not cooked well. However, for Zhao Zhan's cooking, every grain of rice was soft and mushy. It was just right. It was wrapped in the fragrance of the chicken and vegetables. It was not too greasy, but just right to bake the rice. The vegetables and eggs were perfectly preserved, and their original color had been kept. Although it wasn't a glamorous meal, every dish maintained the most simple taste, completely unlike modern times. Not only did the ingredients themselves have too much catalytic residue of medicine, but even the dishes were mixed with various ingredients. Yu Jiao Jiao ate too much. She kept her mouth shut while eating, and only her cheeks moved. For some reason, Zhao Zhan thought of the rabbits that ate grass on the mountain. Seeing that Yu Jiao Jiao was slumped in a chair after eating her fill, Zhao Zhan quickly cleaned up the kitchen and squatted in front of her. Do you want me to help you walk around the courtyard to digest your food? Yu Jiao Jiao thanked him and stretched out her arm. He said he was going to help her walk around the courtyard, but Yu Jiao Jiao had broken her leg. She had barely moved twice when she cried out in a coquettish voice, she was unable to bear the pain. Zhao Zhan was so anxious that his forehead was covered in sweat as if the person who was seriously injured was himself. In the end, he cuddled Yu Jiao Jiao in his arms and took her to see the scenery in the courtyard. Zhao Zhan's thatched house was located at the easternmost part of Willow Village, and there were no other houses around. Behind the thatched house was the majestic sunset beyond the mountain. At this time, the sky was completely dark, and the luxuriant trees stood tall. It was as if there were only the two of them left in this world, and it was paradise. Yu Jiao Jiao leaned into Zhao Zhan's embrace, her voice naturally sweet. I still don't know your name. Zhao Zhan gulped. He didn't dare to stick too close to the little girl and was afraid that she would fall. He was even more nervous than when he usually goes up the mountain to hunt. Even his voice was very tense. My name is Zhao Zhan. My name is Yu Jiao Jiao, you can call me Jiao Jiao. Yu Jiao Jiao smiled, but I don't know anything else. My brain must have been damaged and I can't remember anything, so may I stay here and trouble you for a while longer. Zhao Zhan's heart ached a little when he heard her light tone, but what followed was a feeling of joy. Does that mean she would stay here until she remembered something? Spurned by his own thoughts, Zhao Zhan tried to salvage the situation by awkwardly consoling her, you can stay as long as you want. I can take care of you. Perhaps it was the environment that gave birth to such thoughts. Yu Jiao Jiao didn't deny that she had actually been a little flustered by it. He looked clumsy and nervous in front of her as if he was silly, but he was considerate and quick in doing things. The wind is getting stronger, should we go back? Zhao Zhan realized that she was in a daze and was afraid that she would be sad because she had lost her memory. He hurriedly interrupted her thoughts. Are you sleepy? Yu Jiao Jiao stopped in her tracks and turned around in Zhao Zhan's arms with great effort. Afraid that she would fall, Zhao Zhan's two arms nervously wrapped around her. Zhao Zhan, Yu Jiao Jiao's voice was soft as she raised her head to look at him. Her voice was clear and a little aggrieved. I want to take a bath. I won't be able to sleep if I don't. Chapter 5 Visiting you are listening at NovelFull.audio The dark night covered Zhao Zhan's red flush from his neck to his face. A shower. How? Her back was full of bruises. Although scabs were slowly forming, there was no guarantee that the wounds would not split open when they came in contact with water. 
moreover, she was so delicate. As long as Zhao Zhan thought of her crying out in pain, he wished that he was the one who fell from the top of the mountain. After waiting for a minute without any response, Yu Jiao Jiao pinched his arm. Zhao Zhan. I'm here. Zhao Zhan's Adam's apple bobbed as he sized up Yu Jiao Jiao's expression. There's no bathtub at home. Why don't I boil some hot water and wipe your face first today? I'll definitely make a bathtub for you tomorrow. Yu Jiao Jiao's eyes drooped with disappointment. Dot, I'll go and borrow one for you tomorrow. Zhao Zhan couldn't bear to see her unhappy at all and immediately tried to salvage the situation. I'll go and borrow one from the village. I don't want to. Yu Jiao Jiao turned her face away. I don't want to use a bathtub that has been used by others. The families in the village that had a bath barrel would definitely share one as a family. Since she had to share, Yu Jiao Jiao hesitated for a moment and still felt that she would mind. I'll wipe it down for you. Yu Jiao Jiao moved around in the courtyard for a long time and felt much better than when she was lying on the bed. On top of that, she had eaten two full meals, so she felt that she should still have the strength to wipe down her body. Zhao Zhan carried her back to her room like a baby and returned to the kitchen. When the water was boiling, he made it to a suitable temperature and brought it into the room. He then took two clean towels and placed them on the stool. He prepared another set of hot water in the pot and waited for her. An oil lamp was lit in the room, and Yu Jiao Jiao looked at the clothes she had taken off. The light yellow dress had probably been washed. There was no dirt on it, but there were many traces of rough sewing. It must have been torn when Zhao Zhan picked her up. Yu Jiao Jiao lowered her head and sized up her body. She was a bright and beautiful young lady. She was probably around 17 or 18 years old and was not married. The cold hit her, and Yu Jiao Jiao didn't think much about it after. She sat on the bench, wrung a hot towel, and washed her body. It took a lot of effort for her to do this. Zhao Zhan, who was making her walking stick in the courtyard, could hear the sound of water splashing from time to time. His heart sank, afraid that Yu Jiao Jiao's injuries would worsen if she failed to clean herself. The half dot completed walking stick was already complete, but there was no noise inside anymore. Zhao Zhan stood in the courtyard with worry. He immediately ran to the door and raised his voice nervously. Jiao Jiao. Does it hurt? Are you okay? After a while, she heard a weak cat dot like voice from the little person inside. It hurts. I can't stand up. Should I go in and help you? Yu Jiao Jiao didn't expect that after enduring the pain while she was washing up, she would actually stumble and fall to the ground when she stood up and hit the water basin. Her tailbone was in so much pain that it felt like it had split open. Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't move at all, and tears were welling up in her eyes. When she heard Zhao Zhan's question, she immediately replied, Yes please, come in and help me. The door opened. Yu Jiao Jiao saw that Zhao Zhan's eyes were actually covered with a piece of cloth. Zhao Zhan, I'm here. When Zhao Zhan was hunting, he often relied on his ears to determine the direction of his prey. Although his eyes were covered and he couldn't see, when he heard Yu Jiao Jiao's voice, he turned around like a normal person. Then, he squatted down and used the leather he had taken when he came in to wrap her up and put her on the bed. Yu Jiao Jiao wrapped herself in the blanket and lay flat. As the pain had not subsided, her voice was meek. Zhao Zhan. You can untie the cloth. I've covered myself with the blanket. Zhao Zhan obediently removed the cloth and looked at the other party worriedly. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Under the dim light, Yu Jiao Jiao's thick black hair spread out, accentuating her small face. Her eyebrows were like willow leaves, and her clear eyes were decorated with droplets because of the tears. Her lips were red, and she looked like a charming demoness. Zhao Zhan's eyes were sharp. He saw that there were traces of blood on the cloth she had used to wipe her body. He took the ointment from the box at the head of the bed and held it tightly in his palm. 
your wound is bleeding. I'll apply some more medicine for you. As soon as he finished speaking, Yu Jiao Jiao, who was lying on the bed, had already fainted. Zhao Zhan was worried about her injuries, so he still walked to the bedside and applied the medicine to Yu Jiao Jiao's wounds. His actions were as gentle as a snowflake. When Yu Jiao Jiao woke up again, it was already the afternoon of the next day. As if sensing something, she had just opened her eyes when Zhao Zhan pushed open the door, looking travel.worn. When his eyes met Yu Jiao Jiao's, Zhao Zhan's footsteps faltered and he immediately retreated. Zhao Zhan, stop. Zhao Zhan didn't dare to move again, as if his pressure points had been hit. Wearing Zhao Zhan's clothes, Yu Jiao Jiao sat up from under the blanket. Her eyes widened as she looked at Zhao Zhan, who was frowning at her while standing at the door. Why was he so dirty and bloody? Did you get injured while hunting? Zhao Zhan didn't want her to know. However the clothes were all in this room, and he couldn't get them if he didn't come in. This isn't my blood. It's the praise. This was the first time Zhao Zhan had lied. He didn't even dare to look at the other person. I didn't have time to wash the prey when I went to town to sell it. As he spoke, he quickly took down the bag behind him and opened it. I bought you a few sets of clothes. Your original clothes were too torn, so I washed them for you and put them away. I even bought some clothes for you to change into. I went to Hui Chun Hall to get the medicine for you. The doctor said that you'll get better faster if you apply this medicine when you wake up. There are still a few pastries here. I saw that you liked them yesterday, so I bought some other fillings too. The buns are still warm. Do you want to, try them? His voice grew softer and softer until it was completely retracted. Zhao Zhan was at a loss as he held the bag and looked at Yu Jiao Jiao helplessly. I'm sorry. Yu Jiao Jiao's pretty face was frosty. Every word Zhao Zhan said made her angrier. She had read so many books, even in the fictional ancient times, she could more or less estimate the price of goods. Zhao Zhan's savings had been almost spent. He must have ventured into the mountains at night to hunt fierce prey and brought it to town to earn money. He must have been in danger last night. Although his waist was covered by the belt, the blood had already spilled out. If the prey's claws had been a little deeper, he would not have been able to see her today. Don't be angry. Zhao Zhan didn't dare to move. Although he apologized, he was overjoyed in his heart. She was worried about him. Otherwise, why would she be so angry? The atmosphere in the room was stagnant. Suddenly, a loud noise came from outside the waddled courtyard. Among them, a sharp and harsh female voice shouted at the door, Zhao Zhan. Zhao Zhan. Why would you lock the courtyard in broad daylight? There must be a demon hiding in the house. Quickly open the door for Wan Zi. I know you're here. A man beside him echoed, that's right, Zhao Zhan. Uncle and aunt are here to see you. Hurry up and open the door. Zhao Zhan subconsciously wrapped up the bundle and hid it in the box. Then he stood in front of Yu Jiao Jiao. Who's that outside? It's my father's younger brother's family. My uncle and aunt, Zhao Zhan's voice was low and he looked irritated. He was completely different from the sweet puppy he had been in front of Yu Jiao Jiao for the past two days. I don't know what they're here for. Zhao Zhan. Quickly open the door. What are you hiding in the room and dawdling around for? Do you think Wan Zi will eat you up? Yu Jiao Jiao poked Zhao Zhan's back and said, Zhao Zhan. Your aunt's voice is so unpleasant to hear. She's disturbing me. I'll ask them to leave. Stay in the room and don't come out. When he heard that the little girl found it noisy, Zhao Zhan, who had originally intended to pretend not to hear them as usual, immediately walked out and stood in the courtyard. He looked at the two people outside with cold eyes. What's the matter? If there's nothing else, I'm going up the mountain soon. When Zhao Quasi saw Zhao Zhan come out, she immediately looked inside through the fence. Zhan, 
why don't you open the door for me? It's so tiring for Wan Zi to stand at the door. Let him in to talk to you, okay? As she spoke, her eyes kept looking around the room, burning with curiosity. The owner had clearly said that he had seen Zhao Zhan buying clothes for girls in the town's clothing shop, and he had even bought several sets. To be able to have the money to marry a wife and buy ready dot to dot wear clothes, could it be that he had hunted some powerful prey or picked up some treasure and made a fortune? As a family, shouldn't they be in the know about all of this? Chapter 6 Confrontation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Zhao Zhan's feet were planted firmly on the ground, not moving an inch. He had a cave in the mountain to stay in. It could be said that he had been living in the cave for most of the month. Other than the fact that he was the only one who had enough to eat, the main reason was that he didn't want to deal with the duo. Every time they came to visit, they would take something away under the pretense of concern. He wasn't dense. When it happened once or twice, he believed it. However, after it happened so many times, he realized that something was wrong. However, because they had raised him, Zhao Zhan could not cut ties with them. Zhao Zhan. The husband was submissive to his wife, but he shouted at his nephew when the wife elbowed him, Can you hear me? Are you still not going to let us in? You jinxed your parents to death when you were nine years old. We raised you after that. You can't be an ungrateful person and forget about this, right? Zhao Kuazi's upturned eyes darted around, and she chimed in, exactly. Although you moved out by yourself when you were 16, that was because your brother was about to get married, and the house couldn't accommodate you anymore. Quasi raised you for seven or eight years. Even if you moved out, Quasi would still take care of you, you should know, right? Now that you've become rich, you don't want to acknowledge family. We haven't split up yet. Your household registration is still in Wan Zi's house. At the mention of household registration, the man's slender eyes flashed with a sharp light, and then he said earnestly, John, you're twenty years old this year. It's too old. It's normal to want to marry a wife. But if your wife is hiding in the house, you have to go to the head officer and register your household register. You should open the door and follow me home. I'll give you your household register. You can't let her follow you without a title, right? Zhao Zhan didn't seem to hear him. What a joke, how could someone like her want to marry someone like him? Quickly open the door. We still have things to do. Zhao Kuazi saw that Zhao Zhan was acting like a deaf and mute as usual. Her patience had run out, and she pushed the door open with all her might. She shouted at the top of her voice, the little vixen that Zhao Zhan hid in the house, why don't you come out to welcome your elders when they come? Are you also deaf and mute? I can't believe it's come to this. Zhao Kuazi gulped as she looked at Zhao Zhan, who was standing in front of her with a terrifying black face. For the first time, fear seeped into her soul and she subconsciously swallowed the vulgarities that came after. You, what do you want to do? I'm your aunt. Zhao Zhan's face was frighteningly dark. His hands were stained with the blood of countless preys, and the small animals that usually showed off their imposing manner on the mountain had all fled quickly. The ant was caught by his shadow. She tugged on her husband's sleeve and said dryly, that. We just want to see our niece dot in dot law. Quickly say something. The husband's legs were now a little weak. Why was this nephew of his who was usually so quiet and easily bullied being this scary? His eyes looked like he wanted to eat them up. During the confrontation at the door, Yu Jiaojiao's figure appeared at the door with a walking stick. She called out softly, Zhao Zhan. Like how snow melts, the cold aura around Zhao Zhan's body instantly disappeared. He quickly walked to Yu Jiaojiao's side and asked in a low voice, Why did you come out? Isn't it too noisy outside? I was too slow in chasing them away. Yu Jiaojiao shook her head and glanced at the two people standing at the door. I heard everything when I was in the room. They were the ones who were shameless. Are they here to see me? 
Originally, she had thought that this was about Zhao Zhan's family matter and that it was not appropriate to interfere, but after listening to the exchange in the room, she felt that something was wrong. They were the legendary relatives that had been mentioned in those types of novels. If she didn't come out to help, with Zhao Zhan's personality, wouldn't he be bullied to death? Yu Jiao Jiao was wearing the new clothes that Zhao Zhan had bought today. She had even tidied up her hair in the house. The moment she appeared, the two people standing at the door exchanged glances and muttered a good words in their hearts. This face, this body. Did he find a demon on the mountain? Could it be that Zhao Zhan had been hunting too much, and the mountain god had sent a demon to harm him? The two of them were thinking too much. Yu Jiao Jiao had already walked to the door with Zhao Zhan's help while supporting herself with her walking stick. Zhao Zhan, why didn't you open the door when your uncle and aunt are here? If someone sees us, they'll say that we're rude. Yes, yes, yes. Zhan, you're so rude. Hurry up and open the door for us. Zhao Zhan lowered his head and opened the lock. Zhao Quasi pushed her aside and went in front of Yu Jiao Jiao, reaching out to hold her hand. Yu Jiao Jiao took a step back, her face full of disdain. Which village are you from? Why did you come to our Willow village? Are you the wife that Zhao Zhan bought? Zhao Quasi crossed her arms and clicked her tongue as she looked at Yu Jiao Jiao's fair and tender face. Her heart was filled with jealousy. Let me tell you, for us farmers, looks are not important. What's important is whether we can give birth and whether we can work. Look at me. I gave birth to three sons in a row. Everyone in this village is envious of me, said Quasi. I see that although you are good dot looking, you are a cripple. I don't think you can clean up the house, right? Since you're here, I'll help you tidy up. Zhao Quasi clicked her waist and walked around Yu Jiao Jiao, heading into the house. Yu Jiao Jiao extended her walking stick without a sound. Ouch! Zhao Quasi tripped and fell flat on her face. Yu Jiao Jiao was surprised. What's wrong? How can you trip over for someone with two good legs? It's a pity that my legs are crippled. Otherwise, I could have helped you up. Yu Jiao Jiao covered her mouth and chuckled. She gave Zhao Zhan a reproachful look. Zhao Zhan, why didn't you help me with the hairpin? Oh, I forgot. You said that you would only use your hands to support me. I'm sorry. She dotes on me too much. Zhao Quasi's face was almost buried in the ground. She rolled her eyes in anger at Yu Jiao Jiao's every sentence. She did not even get up. Instead, she lay on the ground with her eyes closed and roared, You're a dead man. Can't you see that I fell down? It was only then that Wan Ji was willing to shift his eyes away from Yu Jiao Jiao's face for the time being to help his wife up. He walked over, turned his head, and chided Zhao Zhan, You're just going to let this little hussy bully your aunt. Can't you see what's happening here? That Yu Jiao Jiao fake panicked and hid behind Zhao Zhan. She couldn't stop her fake shudders as she spoke in a sweet voice, he's so fierce. I'm so scared. How could Zhao Zhan, who had been paying attention to her, miss the smile in Yu Jiao Jiao's eyes? He followed her movements and stood in front of her, blocking her from the others. I don't have money. You don't have to go in and search for it. You won't find a single silver in there. But uncle and aunt, thank you for reminding me just now that I haven't moved out. Zhao Zhan touched the blood on his waist and stretched it to the other party. I'm seriously injured. The doctor said that it will cost a lot of money to cure me. Can you lend me some aid? Chapter 7 Call for help you are listening at novelfull.audio When it came to money, Zhao Quasi immediately glared at Zhao Zhan with her hands on her hips like a rooster ready to fight. How can I have the money to lend you? I have no money. No one asked you to be this careless. What's wrong with you bleeding a little? Why is it that you've become so pampered with a little girl hiding in the house? We villagers have cheap lives. 
we don't want to cry and shout about going to town to see a doctor just because we're injured. How can I have money? Not a single silver will be given to you. Even though he already knew that these two people had no true feelings for him, Zhao Zhan still couldn't help but feel a chill in his heart when he heard these words. The rough big hand was held by a soft and tender little hand. Zhao Zhan lowered his eyes and couldn't help but tighten his grip. It's fine if you don't want to borrow us your money. Didn't you mention just now that you'll clean our rooms? You see, the both of us aren't in good health, so we'll have to trouble you with the room instead. By the way, I'm a clean person. I hope you can do your task properly. Take off the bedsheets and wash them well. Ah! Zhao Zhan's a careless person, and he's willing to put silver in every corner. If you see it, you have to remember to give it to me later. Don't hide it. After all, we both want some silver to treat our injuries. Zhao Kuazi's eyes brightened as she listened, thinking that Yu Jiao Jiao was a fool. In a few sentences, she had revealed all her secrets to others without them knowing. She hurriedly called for her husband to rush into the room. Yu Jiao Jiao scratched Zhao Zhan's fingertips and leaned in close to his ear. Go and call the chief officer over. Her warm breath landed on his ear and he couldn't help but shiver. His earlobes were so red that they were about to bleed. Seeing that he was standing there in a daze, Yu Jiao Jiao shook his hand again, her voice low as if she was whispering in his ear, hurry up and go. Don't just stand there like a fool. They won't dare to do anything to me. Zhao Zhan gazed deeply at Yu Jiao Jiao, then pulled her into his arms and pressed her tightly against his chest. Zhao Zhan. Zhao Zhan's Adam's apple bobbed as he picked her up and walked to the bottom of the shed to place Yu Jiao Jiao on a stool. Then, he took a chopper from the side and placed it by her feet. He knelt on one knee and looked up at the other party with a pair of glistening eyes. I'll be right back. Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't help but laugh. Don't make it look like we're going to part forever. Go on. Seeing that Zhao Zhan was about to leave, Yu Jiao Jiao tugged at the hem of his clothes again and said in a soft voice, Don't run too fast. Be careful of your injuries. Zhao Zhan's face flushed red, and he staggered as he turned to leave. Yu Jiao Jiao's face was full of smiles. Why was she also affected so much that she felt almost sickening? L.C. When Zhao Zhan's figure was out of sight, Yu Jiao's delicate ears listened to the movements in the room. Then, she leaned on her walking stick and moved to the front of the courtyard. She raised her hand and nimbly locked the courtyard door. Then, she slowly sat back on the stool, holding the firewood cutter in her hand and looking at it in a daze. Zhao Zhan must have spent all his money on that girl. We only found a few copper coins. These ready dot made clothes are all good stuff. Zhao Zhan is actually willing to buy that little demon cotton undergarments. I've never worn such good materials in my life. Oh. This good piece could be for our son to wear. The room was rummaged through, and Yu Jiao Jiao, who was sitting in the courtyard, didn't even blink. Zhao Zhan. Your things are all dirty, we'll take them home to wash them for you. The wife carried a pile of things and moved towards the door with great effort. She took small and quick steps. We have a big enough yard to dry them well. Chapter 8 Disturbing you are listening at novel full dot audio. The aunt was anxious when she reached the door but could not go out. Why did you lock the door? She was trapped in the courtyard and shouted at the top of her lungs as she turned her head and looked around. Zhao Zhan. Open the gate for me. The husband was trembling as he held on to the pile of leather. He only managed to hold on for a few minutes before everything fell to the ground. He panted heavily and tugged at his wife. Stop wailing. Zhao Zhan might have gone up the mountain. Ask that little vixen to open the door for us instead. Zhao Zhan protected her as if he was protecting his own eyes. It's impossible for him to not leave the keys for her. Are you guys talking about me? Yu Jiao Jiao was gentle and soft, 
and there was even a hint of shyness in her voice. Do you want this key that Zhao Zhan left for me before he left? Yu Jiao Jiao's smile was sweet and tender. In her soft and delicate little hand was a woodcutter bigger than her arm, and a key hung shakily on the tip of the knife. Come and get it yourself. A gust of wind blew, and Yu Jiao Jiao's waterfall dot like long hair fluttered in the wind. Her eyes and red lips were slightly curved, and her voice seemed to be bewitching from the mountains. Why aren't you coming to get it? The duo subconsciously leaned against each other. A demon. She must be a vixen. Did she also eat Zhao Zhan? Help. That demon is harming people. Help me. The husband kept swallowing his saliva. Half of his body was curled up behind his wife's shoulder. He trembled and couldn't say a word. She, she, she. Zhao Zhan heard the commotion from the courtyard from afar and was extremely anxious. Li Zheng, can we hurry up? Li Zheng was almost fifty years old this year, and his legs were completely incomparable to Zhao Zhan's. He walked beside Zhao Zhan, panting. You're walking too fast. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Li Jing's heart ached as his body suddenly rose into the air. Zhao Zhan carried Li Jing on his shoulders and ran back home. I'm worried about my family, I have no choice. Li Jing's head was dizzy from the shaking and he couldn't help but want to vomit. When he arrived at Zhao Zhan's door, he heard howling. He felt his head hurt even more. It was like a funeral in broad daylight. There's no such thing as a demon. Seeing that Zhao Zhan had arrived, Yu Jiao Jiao leaned on her walking stick and wanted to open the door. However, Zhao Zhan had already anxiously slammed the door down. He didn't care about Li Zheng, who was still at the door. He ran into the courtyard and looked at her from the tip of her head to toe. Only then did his wildly beating heart finally settle down. Zhao Zhan. Yu Jiao Jiao pointed at the others in a coquettish tone. They robbed our house and touched the new clothes you bought for me. Also, she keeps screaming and shouting. My ears are hurting from the voice. Also, they just occupied our house and made me stay in the courtyard. I'm tired of it. The coquettish act from her melted Zhao Zhan's heart. He turned around and squatted down, his sturdy back facing Yu Jiao Jiao. Get on, I'll carry you so you can rest for a while. Yu Jiao Jiao's heart was moved as she lay on it. Zhao Zhan. Are you there? Seeing that someone had come, Zhao Quasi was emboldened. She sat on the ground and shook, not caring that her clothes were dirty. She's a vixen. We should send her to the village and splash her with dog blood. Burn her to death. You shut up. Zhao Zhan glared at the other party, the muscles on his arms bulging. You're disturbing her. The ant was speechless. Li Zheng, who had finally recovered, cleared his throat and stared at the chaos in the courtyard. He couldn't help but look at them in frustration. What are you doing in Zhao Zhan's courtyard? What's with these things you're holding? Chapter 9 Wife, you are listening at novel full. Audio. Why is Li Zheng here? The ant was still sitting on the ground. When she saw Li Zheng, she subconsciously held on to the clothes beside her even tighter. I just came to my nephew's house to take a look. Li Zheng still had some prestige in Willow Village. Especially since she knew that Li Zheng and Zhao Zhan were related to Guan Zhao. Back then, Zhao Zhan's father and Li Zheng were the only two people in the village who went to the town to study. The two of them were classmates. Later, Li Zheng failed three times in the exam to be a student and returned to Willow Village to help his family. Thought it was also because of this that when Zhao Zhan had been placed in her care, Li Zheng would go over to take a look from time to time so that she did not dare to go too far with Zhao Zhan. When did you become so kind? I see Zhao Zhan had bought many things. Yang Li Zheng looked at the things on the ground sarcastically. Then, he turned to Jian Ji who had long curled up into a ball and wanted to be invisible. 
You coward, a grown man like you that only knows how to follow your wife to your nephew's house all day to seek money should just be trash. If this gets out, you'll be shunned by the people of Willow Village. Hurry up and return the things to them, hurry up and leave. If I catch you again in the future, I'll expel you from Willow Village. Zhao Kwasi's face turned pale. Being expelled from the village at this time was enough to prove that this person had committed a very serious crime. Li Zheng. You don't know what you're saying. Zhao Kwasi looked at Li Zheng and rubbed his hands, trying to please him. I didn't want to take his things. I just noticed that his courtyard was small, so I wanted to take these things back for him to wash and dry. The wife Zhao Zhan brought back can't do anything. She's just lazy and a cripple. Wife. It was only then that Li Zheng noticed Yu Jiao Jiao, who was lying on Zhao Zhan's back. Zhao Zhan, when did you get married? Why didn't you tell me? Which village is your wife from? Zhao Zhan's arm, which was holding on to Yu Jiao Jiao, subconsciously tightened. I saved her from the town. She was so scared that she couldn't remember anything, so I thought of letting her stay here for a while. She's a girl. If she ran out rashly and met with danger, I wouldn't feel good. Zhao Zhan's words were half truth and half lie. He had never lied in the past, but now he made an exception because of this sweetheart. His eyes drifted away for a moment as he was lying before he spoke again. Don't talk nonsense. She's not my. I'm his wife. Yu Jiao Jiao interrupted Zhao Zhan's words. Zhao Zhan's hands were very steady, and Yu Jiao Jiao didn't need to exert any strength to hold his neck loosely. She laid comfortably on Zhao Zhan's shoulder as she spoke. A life dot saving grace should be repaid with one's body, so I'm naturally his wife. Yu Jiao Jiao's expression was coy. Li Zheng, if we get married, won't our household registration be the same? Li Zheng didn't have a daughter, and his daughter's dot in dot law were as fierce as a tigress. It was rare to see such a pretty little gentle girl. In addition, she also knew how to be grateful for being Zhao Zhan's wife and solving a problem for him. Li Zheng was very satisfied when he saw Yu Jiao Jiao, and he answered her questions without hesitation. Of course. I'll settle the registration for you when I get back today. Zhao Zhan will bring you there. I'll show you around Willow Village. You'll be one of us in the future. But Li Zheng, I just heard this aunt say that she must keep his household registration in her hands so that the two of us can be at her mercy. We're not really separated anyway, and as an elder, she has the right to dictate our lives. Chapter 10. Compensation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Although Yu Jiao Jiao was a little pretentious and soft, she was never one to not know how to fight back when she was beaten. On the contrary, not only would she give an eye for an eye, she would also be very protective of the people who care about her. She watched helplessly as Zhao Kwasi and his wife came to her temporary home and caused such a mess. If she didn't skin them alive, how could you Jiao Jiao let them leave this courtyard happily? You too. You too still know that your family right. Based on what you two have done, I thought you were his enemy. Li Jin looked at the two people who were sitting on the ground and glaring at each other. He didn't like them at all. It was not easy for him to settle Zhao Zhan's marriage, but now there were two people who wanted to ruin it. How was that possible? You. Li Jin pointed at the man who had his head lowered and did not dare to talk back, go back and get Zhao Zhan's household registration. Keep your wife here. When you get your household registration back, you too can get out. I don't know where my household registration is. The man on the floor pulled a long face. This woman is the one who takes care of everything in the house. I don't know anything about it. Li Zheng, Yu Jiao Jiao continued to fan the flames, do you see the pile of clothes on the ground? That's the new one he prepared for me to marry him. I haven't worn it yet, and now it's under her body and has her stench on it. You have to make them pay for it. I'd like to have compensation. What compensation? I'm not even wearing these clothes, they just fell on the ground and got dirty, right? 
I'll just return it to you, what's there to compensate? At the mention of money, it was as if Xiao Kuazi's spirit had been evoked. In an instant, she threw the clothes in Yu Jiao Jiao's direction while cursing and rubbing her bottom. Dot dirt and soil flew everywhere as Yu Jiao Jiao scornfully hid her face behind Zhao Zhan's neck. Ah! Zhao Zhan, what are you doing? Are you going to hit your aunt? You dare hit your elder. Yu Jiao Jiao only felt the man beneath her tremble a little. When she looked at Zhao Kuazi again, she realized that her clothes were all crumpled and scattered by her side. Her everything was covered in dirty mud. It was obvious that Zhao Zhan had kicked the pile of clothes back and it just happened to cover Zhao Kuazi's head. Yu Jiao Jiao giggled and whispered into Zhao Zhan's ear, well done. Zhao Zhan's expression was cold, but his red ears betrayed his inner thoughts. He looked at Zhao Kuazi and suppressed the anger in his voice. You scared Jiao Jiao. These clothes are already so dirty that they don't match Jiao Jiao's. Pay her some silver and I'll take her to buy new ones. And that leather, I originally wanted to use it to make a blanket for Jiao Jiao when the weather is cold, but now that you've touched it and dirted it, you should compensate me as well. Do you want to go hunting and make it for me, or do you want me to tell you how much money you need and you can compensate me with that? It had been a long time since Zhao Zhan had said such a long string of words. However, when he saw Zhao Kuazi throw those clothes over, he could not help himself from speaking up. He knew how much she loved cleanliness so much. She definitely couldn't touch anything dirty, not even a little bit. Compensate him. You, go back and get your household registration in silver. If you don't know where it is, ask your wife. If you can't get everything by today, you'll have to leave Willow Village by tonight. Our Willow Village doesn't need people like you to taint the air. Li Zheng, come on. Zhao Quasi quivered when he heard Yu Jiao Jiao's voice, and he looked at Yu Jiao Jiao as if he wanted to brutally murder her with a pair of tongs. If it wasn't for the fact that this girl's words were melodic, there was no other way that Li Zheng would be so biased towards them. Yu Jiao Jiao paused for a moment, then pouted and put her chin on Zhao Zhan's shoulder. Zhao Zhan, she's so scary. I'm so scared. Zhao Kuazi was speechless.